Hello everyone, my name is Atomic Coasters, and welcome back to episode 3 of OpenRCT2 Planship Here. So, I ended up holding off on this video for a while just because I didn't have any inspiration, kind of like the last episode. Which, I have, I've been having troubles with inspiration for Planship Here basically since the first episode. So, um, I might not upload these like every, every week, like every other week like I was planning. I might do it... I might do more uh, main videos instead of these, which I think I think it uh, should be okay. But um, anyways, this episode was actually really fun to do, and I had a really good time um, recording all of it. So right now what I'm doing is I'm adding a little pirate ship. I got a lot of inspiration off of this little pirate ship from the one at Michigan's Adventure. But right now, I'm actually uh, cutting between two different sections because I ended up spending about 10 minutes while recording just doing absolutely nothing. And um, I was planning on building like a Schwarzkopf, but that didn't really work out, so um, yeah. Sorry for that little cut, uh, cut there. Movavi was being really annoying and not actually rendering the um, video preview, so that way I could do proper voiceovers. But, um, anyways, like I was saying, I ended up scrapping the idea to add a little Schwarzkopf into this park, and instead I got to work on the, um, station and queue line for the wooden coaster, which I still don't have a name. If you have a good name, uh, leave it in the description, and I might, uh, choose it for this, um, coaster. So, right now, I'm just making a very, very basic station using, um, one of, uh, a couple of the, like a good combination of pieces that I like to use, which is the European style uh, red brick in the um, sort of like red brick and Gregorian, or Gregor, is it Gregorian or Georgian? I can't remember. Uh, the like black, the black tile roof, or not black tile, just the black roof. That one looks uh, really nice. And then um, also the standard like, uh, just the basic wall and roof combo combo that's in base RCT2 but um yeah so this video ended up being pretty fun and uh, it's probably gonna be sh it's shorter than um, the previous episode mainly because I didn't do as much I didn't fully rebuild the park but um, I wanted to fill this little backspace here with something um, I could have done like another patio or a picnic pavilion, but instead I decided to put a little backstage area, which I think was pretty good. I've never actually seen a backstage area in real life. Well, I've seen them, but I've never been in one. So if anyone who works at a park or has been in a backstage area um, would like to share some details so that way I can make this better for future episodes, uh, that would be pretty cool. But right now I'm just like uh, getting everything set up and... I'm, um, what I'm doing right now is using the tile inspector to fill in the entire uh, grid square with path. So basically what it does is it makes it so that way like the little grass border that's normally on the edge is no longer there. And um, so that just makes it look a lot cleaner and a lot more professional like an actual uh, paved area. And then for the finale of this, well, right now I'm just adding some little scenery decorations that I would assume a park would bring out at different points for uh, like a Halloween event or maybe even a Christmas event. Um, just some really basic stuff. Like I said, I don't like I've never really been in a backstage area, so I just went off of what I've seen on like the break run of Fury 325 and Leviathan and all that. And then I'm just adding a little quick uh, restroom block right here. And then later on in this video, right after this, um, I go into the grand finale of this video, which I think is a really nice thing, a uh, li little um, dark ride, or I guess it's not really a dark ride, it's more of a um, haunted mansion, but I'm also, I also changed up the, um, the queue or like the area around the um, double SNS towers, which I... Um, I did the little thing. I tried to get it to work, but because of how the paths are set up, it didn't really work out that well. So I ended up spending probably around five, uh, five or ten minutes 
uh, just messing around with this thing, trying to get a nice little um, area for it. But I think it turned out uh, pretty nice. So, um, yeah, I'm not really good with these voiceovers, as you've been able to tell through all of these videos. But I do want to say, well, I say this in every video, but I'm incredibly happy with all the support that's been going on on my channel. It's really, really um, awesome to see all of the support there. So, one of the biggest problems that I have with all of the Roller Coaster Tycoon games, except for, um, like, 1, 2, and 3, is creating foliage, and Planet Coaster does a really good job at making that, of uh, making good-looking foil, uh, foil, fo foliage easy. So, anyways, this is the finale that I was talking about. This is going to be a, um, little indoor, I guess Dark Ride is probably the best way to call it, is the, probably the best thing to describe it. But this is going to be uh, Mr. Bones' Wild Ride. That's a nice classic uh, Roller Coaster Tycoon uh, meme uh, from, like, I can't even remember when it's from. But um, yeah, this is a nice little, um, a nice little dark ride here. And so the thing about this was that I tried doing a full building for it, which includes all four sides. And then I realized that that looks terrible because the these pieces for the dark um, for the dark village these don't look good at all they but then I decided let's do what an actual amusement park would do and that's only decorate two sides of it and then the rest is just a regular show building like just that's basically what they did for Tomb Raider at Kings Island they made the front entrance look good and then it's just a massive metal block right behind it it kind of ruins some of the immersion um, I never rode Tomb Raider, but I would imagine I I would imagine that it ruined a lot of the immersion from that ride. So um, this is the roofed piece that I was talking about. It's really good for making that sort of generic style um, building, and I think that this park is going to. Be, I feel like in the real world this would be a very historic park, and it would have like. It would be very similar to Indiana Beach, maybe even it was designed as a sister park to Indiana Beach, which I think that that would be an interesting little touch uh, that I might throw in a, a homage to Indiana Beach here or there. But anyways, I ended off Mr. Bones' Wild Ride with the classic, um, with the classic little skull, uh, or the skeleton guy. But anyways, that's the end of this video. I hope that you all enjoyed. I'm Atomic Coasters, and I hope to see you all in the next video.